ang bago. Right, evening, it's now, what night is it Pam? Tuesday? Monday? Monday. It's now Monday tea time, well I say tea time, evening. Uh, um, we're going to walk down towards Manthos where we're eating tonight through the village. It's about a ten minute stroll but we're going to stop at Kamini Bar which used to be the old brickyard in um, just spotted a little kitten over there playing in the field. Um, it um, used to be like the brick, the tile yard for the village where they used to make the, make the tiles. So I'll try and overlay a picture, I think I've got one somewhere of what it looked like now and what it looks like, you know, what it looked like then. So come with us, you got a treat tonight because I've got the 360 camera with me as well. So you should be able to get some amazing shots of this sunset because you always tend to get a sunset down there that's uh, second to none. So off we go. Wave. <laughs> Wave for the camera. <laughs> hey. Tiny, tiny one. I hope you can see down there, pick up, there's some turtles down there in the stream. One, look. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at them all. There's seven. Look at this lovely cat. Loving that, aren't you? Aren't you loving that? This here is the bakery. Um, for anybody who think I've got to put it on one of the other vlogs that's coming up, but yeah, they do all sorts in there. It is what used by the tavernas where they get the bread from, but you can go in there as public and just do what you want, you know, get some cheese pies, etc, etc. So well worth a look. Look at that sunshine. Amazing. tonight, Mantos there, on the right, absolutely amazing place, you've also got down there, you've got Mistral, um, right on the beach, you've got waves, really good. Right, we're here, we're finally in Mantos. Just look at this view. Just look at that, guys. How good is that? I'm going to set this up and hopefully do a time lapse of the uh, sunset tonight. Just got to make sure we avoid people knocking the uh, camera off. So, yeah, we'll crack on and do that. Now, can I still watch that behind you, that camera? <laughs> don't, yeah, it. don't lean back. I'm not leaning back. Then I'll have to pay my weight. <laughs> How, uh, how expensive is it? Uh, 
500 quid, euros. He can earn that in a night. He's doing a uh, time lap. Ah, it's a time lap. Time lap. Oh, look at that with the boats. That would be brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's what we need. Wow, look at that. Pam's getting stuck into the bread. Seriously, guys, just look at that sunset. Huh? Oh. So the starter has come. I've gone for baked feta. Pam and Ken's have got feta in honey, isn't it? Yeah. Is this one of your favourites? Yeah. Something weird just flew past there. A bat. No, it. it So the main course have arrived at look at this belter that's the mixed grill <coughs> and how good does that look Pamela good. Very are you good. gonna tackle that yeah are you gonna get stuck in yeah. are you gonna eat that olive right now. No. let's have a cut look at that go on go on Pam oh floaty light look at that how are you progressing with the moussaka well, you're very full you've not done bad though that's what's left of mine. I'll probably eat a little bit more, but not much. Good morning. It's the morning after the night before. So, uh, last night, as you saw, we went to Manthos. Unbelievable sunset. The setting of that place. Now, you, if you don't know the village, you won't know the history of Manthos. Manthos was one of the original tavernas uh, when there was nothing here. If you watched, are you aware of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Manthos used to. Um, the guy, who, one of the guys who wrote the book, stayed here for a long hot summer in like mid 70s or something, and he stayed in a village just up the road. And Manthos used to um, get him drunk on ouzo and teach him Greek swear words. So Manthos retired probably about I don't know five six years ago, uh, and the tavern was taken over by Andreas and his family. His mum Katie is an excellent cook. She does all the cooking. Uh, she's got some staff in there with her. Andreas does front of house. His girlfriend, Danielle, unbelievable. Uh, she's so good at a job. You've got Akis working there. Another young lad, I don't know his name, but service is exemplary. Very busy to earn a very hot night and they did not let their standards slip once. So if you're gonna go there, recommend it. Get down there, the sunset views, unless you're unlucky, you'll get a stunning night. So I'll take your camera with you. Really, really good. Worth watching, worth going to, um, just to see the sunset. So. I'm up at the Barris, I'm round the pool, as you can see. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like round here first thing in the morning. I've been up since 7.30, so been up a while. I always get up early on holiday. I am tired, but I usually just doze on this bed while the village wakes up. Got the bakery over the road that's, they were shout at each other and carry on and they were screaming at each other yesterday. I think they fall out. But yeah, you get the smells from there. They cook the croissants, etc. the bread. That smells lovely, but yeah, I'll just go to the other end of the pool and I'll show you what it looks like. So here we are in the village, look. And across to the club bike. You've got Tasty Corner there, which is like a giraffe place. And if you look down there, obviously you've got the village, the supermarket. But this, I hope you can make it out. This is the Barris Pool first thing in the morning. So the good thing here is there's hardly any beds taken. You don't have to get up early. You know, there's been people coming down 10, 11 o'clock and still getting a bed. And there's not loads of them. So 
it's not like Spain where they're queuing up at half past seven to, to get in and get a bed. So I'll show you from the other side out of the sun. You can see there the lovely bar area. Really, really good. There's the usual collection of lilos that gets left behind when people leave. And then look, you can see the beds there, so there's lots down this side, a few down this side. Yeah, there we go. So we're just in the barrows for lunch. I'll have to keep talking because we might get a copyright strike because there's a bit of a... Um, Dirty dancing in the background. Pamela's perusing the menu and I've just actually told her she can have exactly what she wants. <laughs> oh, you can so, Mackenzie has ordered a tuna baguette with no salad, I think. Pamela has ordered a sausage and, hang on, my camera's going crazy. Sausage and fried onion baguette and I've ordered the same. It's very warm today, isn't it? Yeah. Holy zesty. So this is a new drink for this year that I'm having. I've just decided that I'm going to have a little bit of, in the pint of beer here, I have about that much Fanta lemon in the bottom and then a large beer and it's amazing, so refreshing. Now there's a massive debate about who has the best chips in the village, but look at those babies at the Barras. And then you've got the baguette there, look. Sausage and onion baguette, yum. Right, the baguette was epic, really, really nice that. Didn't cost much money at all, about six euros for that. So, really good. That's lunchtime done at the Barris. We'll uh, pick up with you later on. Evening all. Welcome back. Just picked up the camera again. Um, it is now Wednesday night. So, what we're doing is quite often in the holidays, say quite often, not every year, I mean, what we'll do is we'll have a quiet night where we go grab a Jeros. From Yanish down the road, it takes probably 20, 25 minutes to order it, get it, eat it, it's very quick. Uh, and then what we do is we go on the beach, I've got the drone ready, so I'm hopefully going to get some drone footage of a sunset if we're there in time and obviously some footage on this camera. So, um, and then I'm going to watch Leeds United, hopefully we can find a bar that's got it on for my sins. Uh, Leeds Middlesbrough tonight in the cup, so... Yeah, come along with us, I'll show you the Geros, I'll show you his shop, I'll show you his restaurant, his taverna, whatever you want to call it, it's lovely. Um, just authentic, cheap Greek food. I usually go for the mixed, which is pork, chicken, uh, large uh, pita, Geros, and it's amazing. And it only costs about six euros for that, I think. Five, six, so really good, really good value. So, yeah, let's take you along with us. Just noticed here, look at these fabulous pears on this tree. So I think that's pear tree there, and then I believe that one is a lemon tree. Yeah, it is. I can see some big lemons at the back of that. But look at that, some cracking pears on there. Well, yeah. Let's get off and let's go get a gyros. There can't be many better bus stops than that, can there? But unfortunately, it's just full of wasps. As well as Spiros bikes, you've got Pegasus bikes there. And we've got again the shop. That over there used to be the old version of where we're going tonight, that white building there. There's Noah G, our friend is just leaving. There now, that's the guild bodies on the way. So we'll film them for the vlog. <laughs> right, there's Ken's opening his pop-up. It's actually gonna be refreshing. Lydia's here with us too. She's waving, got a Coca-Cola. Pam's come dressed as a tree, a bush, for the uh, evening. So there is the uh, large pitta mix chicken and pork which is six euros fifty 
Sorry, I'm just avoiding a wasp as I'm filming. So, Ken's, you've gone for a uh, large one, haven't you? Mixed. Better eat it all. It can't be as bad as that one we had in Zanti, can it? That was ma massive, wasn't it? No tomato in yours. And no tomato in yours. No. Very strange. So, the wine has arrived. Only in here do you get your wine in a Retsina glass. Okay, bit of a disaster, bit of a disaster, we've had a power cut, hence why I'm now sat in the dark, so even though it's still light, it doesn't look very really light on this camera, so I don't know what you're seeing here, but we've had a power cut, the fridge has gone off, the gyros has gone off, but most importantly, the football might have gone off. Yay! Wow, look at that. Thank you. Look at that pan. That looks a belter, you're going to eat all that. Lydia's just got a normal size one, look at that. Yeah. There you go, look at that Jidos. I hope that makes your mouth water. What video, mate? <laughs> you managed to shovel enough of that in your uh, mouth yeah, at once there. Are you enjoying it? So look at that sunset, we just left the uh, Yanni Giros place and we're just by the Hotel Athena. What's Pamela pointing out? That building that's non-existent. Oh yeah, the building up there, in the distance on the uh, hillside straight ahead, is the one that people said wasn't here the other day when I took a picture. So if you're watching, it's definitely there because I've just shown you it. So let's walk down here. Giros was amazing. It was 36 euros for three large, one normal, two cans of pop, large bottle of water and half a litre of rosé wine. 36 euros, folks.